Hey, what up everybody, this is Theater Beach coming to you, and tonight, season 26 of The Simpsons, we had one of the most awesome uh, crossovers of all time with The Simpsons and The Family Guy merging together, both appearing on the same show at the same time, sort of combining the universe and uh, shocking everybody's mind. But the real hook for this, uh, this season opener uh, was The Simpsons' uh, promise that someone was going to be killed off on the show. And it seems that they have delivered um, way deep into the well by, you know, the, the, the character that was uh, killed off was none other than Krusty's dad. Um, basically, I, I honestly think that they're just playing off what uh, the, the family guy uh, did by killing off Brian and seeing that it had large success killing off a character on the show, even though Brian just miraculously just showed up back on the show. Uh, and about four or five weeks later, I think that they basically saw, you know, what that did for ratings and just said, hey, I know what we'll do to kick off our season. Um, we'll, we'll kill somebody off just like they did. But honestly, I think that if you're going to kill somebody off, they, they much rather should have killed off one of the main characters of the show. I know when you have the, the Simpsons world, it's, it's bizarre because it's like, here you are in the city of Springfield, and if you drive two blocks, you're at the ocean with this beautiful beach view, and if you drive a block the other way, there you are at... Crusty land, and you have a huge amusement park. And if you drive, you know, a block the other way, you have the huge, you know, Springfield Stadium, um, where they have their own football team and everything like that. And that's why it was so cool to play that one. Uh, uh, I can't remember what the name of the game was. Cruising Springfield, or whatever it was. It was a video game uh, back in like 2002. I think I was like on PlayStation 2 is when I used to play it on. I used to be able to drive around Springfield and be able to connect all those worlds and just be able to figure out how the hell somebody drew out that game and what it was going to be. Um, but honestly, I, I love watching The Simpsons. I can't believe it's been on for 26 years. These days I'm more of a DVD viewer more than I am a TV viewer, meaning that I just wait for the DVDs to come out. You know, It's normally the first week of December every year. I buy the set and uh, me and my daughters, we sit back and we love that show. Um, it's cool enough that, that basically, you know, there's jokes in there that only I'll get, that, that they all have to wait until they get older. Uh, I remember watching shows from back in the day when basically Homer was going through his college stuff and pulled a bong out of his thing. I don't know what I thought that was when I was a kid, um, but basically now I, I laugh my ass off when I see something like that. But killing off somebody like Krusty's dad to give us the Krusty episode in, in the, uh, you know, the season premiere, honestly to me was, was sort of weak. If you're going to kill somebody off, kill somebody off, um, uh, Smithers, Mr. Burns, uh, anybody. I mean, like, uh, I'm sure that if you know uh, they could go back in time to back to season one, I think that they would go back and they would they would uh, unkill Bleeding Gums Murphy, uh, the uh, saxophone player who taught Lisa the blues from back in the day. Um, I'm sure they could have used him in a million things um, since then. But uh, this is the uh, the rest in peace video uh, to Krusty's dad and. Um, Hats off to you. You had a good run, but you're done now. Peace out.